Hi, my name is Kevin Wilson. This is Leonardo Paley and Jack Palefko. Hey guys. And this week, we're watching Scooby-Doo. Where have all the heroes gone? When the world needs a champion against the forces of darkness, who will answer the call? I'll have whatever he's having. From Warner Brothers Pictures. Mystery Inc. reunites. Scooby and his crew Roll are on. back on the case. Run! Run! I'm trying, buddy. And now, on an island of mystery. Welcome to Spooky Island. They have. Run! The monster! No clue. We're here to solve a mystery. Rory. I got bad feeling about this. Creatures are taking over the world? That is so new. I know! Where are you? Get up, get up, get up! Reggie! Scooby Doo! <laughs> this year. Who's your best buddy? Reggie. That's right. And who's my best buddy in the whole wide world? Ruby Doo. Many heroes stand tall. Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? Straight up. <laughs> but only one stands on all fours. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Scooby Doo. No one is stupid enough to believe that. Who's the ugly old broad? Oh. <laughs> All right, so Scooby-Doo is a early 2000s live action adaptation of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Um, I'm not gonna lie, this movie makes me really sweaty every time <laughs> I think about it. Uh, this movie makes me so uncomfortable. Uh, I I'm not gonna lie, it is a cringe fest <laughs> of a film. It, it's it is. so bad you have to see it. <laughs> the CGI, it's the thing with the movie, you have to keep in mind. <laughs> What's cringy is it's very dated. Like, it's from like 2001 or 2002, and you're aware oh, of that. Fact. Yo, it goodness. is of the time. Tips, yeah. MXPX does oh, the sound cover <laughs> of the Scooby Doo song that they play, oh, like oh running around, like very cliche cartoon thing. You're like, oh my they, god. That's right. Like, it keeps. In touch with original Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, it doesn't it doesn't leave like the characters and like it even opens with this big opening of like ah oh, they're chasing after like a they main ghost. Unveil this and they ghost. Unveil, like Mr. Jenkins and you're like ah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's like the opening is really well done and yeah. then like Pamela Anderson shows up out of nowhere <laughs> and like the sound of glass shattering just goes through your head and, and then from then on it just turns into like this, yeah this really really strange oddly adult. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll go through some of my favorite lines real quick. Yeah, Leo's favorite Fred's lines. Fred's the long banana. My name's Mary Jane. That's, That's like, like my, my favorite, favorite name. name. <laughs> um, you just pissed on Daphne. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like, <laughs> or, 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 weird. Or, or what was the other one? It was, it was, Fred was like, I have, I have substance. Nerdy girls turn me on too. She said that to Velma. Oh, yeah. Or when he switches bodies with Daphne, he's like, yeah, I get to look at myself naked. <laughs> I can like, look at myself <laughs> naked now. He like grabs. It's just, it's a weird movie. I think even Scooby's confused by some of the lines because like his character goes like, like he like look at the character. Honestly, my one good thing in CGI is Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, he's rendered the best. He's pretty good, and it's not that bad. Like, like keep in touch, 2002. Like Lord of the Rings came out, so like it's not that great. Yeah, but it does a pretty good job. And then everything else at CGI is so. The matte paintings oh, are very classic Hollywood. Yeah. Like you look and suddenly you're like, that's a 2D painting. And that fits that fits kind of like the whole like Scooby-Doo feel of it. Like there are some moments where it does take it back through. It's like when they're going through the spooky castle and they're like, oh, gosh, man. And, and like, you know, like they go through. And chased and stuff. Yeah, like, and they like, they have like the like, Scooby, would you do it for a Scooby snack? And Scooby's like, Rrr, you know, and like you do it and like, ah, Scooby-Doo. And then it goes right back to the, <laughs> Oh, let's get out of our car and like there's smoke, weed smoke coming out of it. Like I don't know, it was just really. It's like... from a grill that they're cooking inside the van. Right. Well, we know what what's really. We know what Shaggy's up to. When Mary Jane blows green smoke into Shaggy's face, <laughs> and he just goes, 
Yeah, like like everyone else in the movie, like they pass out when the green like smoke hits their face. Shaggy like just inhales gets it into and it. just relaxes. Okay, so we've talked about like how it keeps the essence, and we talked about how kind of cringy the rest of his stuff is. But Leo, there's one scene that I think really just kind of like encapsulates the movie, and it's something that you said you wanted to rant about for just a little bit. Uh, it's okay. the competition. So I watched this movie. And I always set aside time to watch movies for film flock, and I'm sitting down, and I'm prepared to watch a movie, and about halfway through the movie, they're being chased to a castle, and Scooby-Doo and Shaggy stop in a room, <laughs> and for three minutes, I watched a Shakespearean trained actor and a CGI dog have a <laughs> farting contest. <laughs> It ends with Daphne walking in, <laughs> right as Shaggy wins the contest. And I don't, as a grown, I think as an adult, like sitting oh down, my God. watching some late 20s, 30 year old man have a farting okay. contest by himself in a room. <laughs> with a CGI dog. I was both very upset and I have not laughed that hard in the movie in a long like, time. It's funny. It's really, it's really, really, really funny. Probably the funniest part of the movie. Uh, a minor thing you just brought up, which I don't know if it's ever addressed. Is it ever addressed how old they are? No, at this it's point? not. No, like, they're in their, I think they, they're in their they, 20s. They follow, it's kind of a continuation of the series. Like they've gotten, they did their, they've gotten big. They're, they're famous people. They solved a lot of cases. They solved a lot of cases. People know them. So like it's, it's suggested that they're older and they're not like, what on the TV show they're supposed to be like college kids, right? They're like a high school graduating going to college. Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely like a little bit ways down the line. And they're... It's, it's, the movie's worth it. Yeah. It's, really, it's like, really worth it to watch it. Like, like it's cringy, but you just, you have to watch it because it genuinely is funny to watch. It's yeah. like, it's like there, and uh, there, there are some actually funny moments. Mr. Bean is in the movie. Rowan yes. Atkinson is in the movie. Oh uh, He's the in the movie. It's good. He's uh, funny. The it, ending is my least favorite part, but there are some parts that like I go, I do go back and watch it. Yeah. I, think it's I mean, cool. it's not an Empire Strikes Back level villain That's twist, Scooby -Doo but uh, two. yeah, two two monsters unleashed <laughs> is uh, where they really uh, that hit their one, stride. Yeah, up the ante. Like that Star one. Wars, the second one's way better. It's yeah. actually really good. Also, can we mention really quickly James Gunn, director of Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> if you look on his IMDb page, has directed Scooby Doo One. Scooby-Doo 2 and Guardians of the Galaxy. Scooby-Doo is what got him. him. That's all I got it's what got him Guardians of the Galaxy. It's basically the blueprint for Guardians, of the, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like but we have a CGI if animal you like character. Guardians of the Galaxy, you should watch Scooby-Doo. Oh my god. If we're gonna give this a, a final sale rating, mm -hmm. if possible, what what uh what do you guys think? You gotta go rate first because it's your movie. All right, um, I'm gonna give it like a spiritual five out of five, <laughs> but like a real one and a half out of five. I'm going for a one out of five with four out of five laughs. I, I give it two and a half Scooby Snacks. Like <laughs> this movie, <laughs> it's, this movie is, is, it hits home in some parts, so. You, could, uh, you can catch Scooby-Doo on Spinnaker On Demand if you go to movies.spinnaker.com. Uh, I'm Kevin Wilson. I'm Leonardo Paley. And I'm Jack Palefko. And you've been watching Film Plot. Ruby, Ruby, Roo! <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, Roo! You gotta do it, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs>